Alright YouTube, um, I want to talk a little bit about what I was talking about in my last video. For those of you that don't recall the name of that video, it was American Artist Canadian Gallery. Uh, in that I talked a little bit about my artwork uh, being denied from a Canadian gallery because I, uh, um, I'm not Canadian. Although, here's the ironic thing. Many, many years ago, back at the turn of the 20th century, my grandparents um, had a homestead in Canada. And they, they lived in Canada for several years. My grandmother worked on the ranch out there in Canada, the homestead in Canada. Um, I don't know if there was like a homestead act that they were taking advantage of to get the property or, or what the situation exactly was, but that's, that's what my grandmother did. And my grandfather worked for the um, um, mail service uh, and he worked for the railroad and basically what he did was he went to all the little towns and he picked up goods that they wanted to trade out like um, furs and meat and stuff like that and he would ride on a sleigh and um, in the winter time he'd ride on a sleigh and he had a, te had a team of horses and they would go for, to all the different neighborhoods and uh, towns and pick up goods and then take it to the railroad and so he worked for the railroad and had his own little farm on the side and uh, he did that in Canada until there's a big flood or something and they moved to Iowa and uh, the uh, and this is my dad's family and, and when my they say that when my my grandparents arrived in Iowa uh, they were pretty well you know he had a, my grandfather got a job my grandmother you know started you know taking care of the kids in southern Iowa and uh, they say that, that when he got to Iowa, he had five dollars in his pocket, and you know, so he, he could he could support his family to a small degree, and uh, from there they, um, you know, they sent kids to college, they sent kids to war, they, you know, I've got uncles that proudly served our country in Korea and uh, uh, D-Day and. Um, uh, Battle of the Bulge and, and major events in our nation's history and, and uh, my grandparents provided so they could do that. My dad fought fires in California. Um, uh, he couldn't serve in Vietnam so that's what he did instead because um, he, he was a shop teacher and he put his finger, his trigger finger through a joiner. So if you don't want to go to war, put your finger in the joiner. No, I'm just kidding, don't do that. It hurts. I would imagine. No, they don't do that. But, um, anyway, uh, I want to talk about a little bit of the artwork that I've done and show you a few things. And just to give you an idea of what I do, I'm going to start about, oh, about six years out and kind of work my way back about six years ago. Um, I, was, I was experimenting with uh, colored pencil and ink and this first one of Kurt Cobain is an example of that. And then I started to get really into the inks more and so I was uh, getting some watercolor paper and uh, this is a ink wash um, on watercolor paper of a guitarist that I saw out in Galena, Illinois. I've, I've done a couple of uh, little takes of art history. I've done, you know, Grant Woods, and I've done uh, Grant Woods art, and I've done uh, various other works. This one is a Peter Paul Rubens um, uh, of the Crucifixion, and um, I did it in uh, Sharpie marker, ink wash, uh, black ink, and red ink. Oh, what do I want to show you next? Well, the next one is of a, a former student of mine who was an excellent violinist, and she was she 
was give some sort of presentation or something. And I took a couple pictures of that and uh, and I created um, this of of uh, of her. The next one is of my wife. It's uh, again a colored pencil drawing. It's it's not that big. It's And the last one of my finished works that I'm going to show is of, uh, the, it's called the Demo, and it's all color pencil. Uh, now I want to give you a glimpse of some of the things that are up and coming, some of the things I'm working on. Uh, one of those is one you might, the first one I want to show is one that you might recognize a little bit. It's one that I started a long time ago and I wanted to finish a long time ago. It's just one of those little projects that kind of got thrown at the back burner um, as the other things started to take priority. Uh, it was a portrait for, uh, of X Go Go Bean X. The next one that I want to show is another one that you may have seen in passing if you've watched any of my videos. It's of a of a dream, and basically the the essence of this dream is uh, about seven eight years ago, Salvador Dali came to me in a dream, and I I have this weird belief about dreams, and I'll get into that some other time. But basically, um, Salvador Dali came to me in a dream, or I came to Salvador Dali in a dream, basically, and I walk up this stairway and I go to his room and, and there's this balcony and I walk around the corner of the balcony and they're I'm like standing on the side of the bed and he tells me that I've got the power to be a really great artist I just have to remember to do this one thing there's this one thing that I've got to do and um, I don't know and he told me he, he said it to me and I can't remember what he told me and this is the moment that he tells me what he's saying and his, his words are kind of off to the side I'm struggling to pay attention and so that's what's going on in, in this particular work and the last in progress work is uh, of a couple photographs that I took of a gentleman in, uh, in Rome I believe um, and I just, you know, I was walking down the street. No, I was in Florence. Uh, and I was walking down the street, and I saw this guy in Florence. It, it, I was, there was a little demonstration thing at this, uh, it was called Leonardo's Leather Shop or something like that in Florence. And the kids were coming out, and I was kind of bored. So I walked down the street, and I saw this old guy and took some pictures of him. And uh, then our, you know, our group, of course, walked past this guy, and he was playing his violin and, and did all kinds of really cool stuff and, and so I what I and what I'm doing is I'm superimposing two images on top of one another so you can see this close up view and this backed up view of him. Uh, and it's one of those it's it's a piece about um, people that you recognize and how you know what they look like up front without even being close to them. You can see them from a, a long way away without really recognizing them, but you still know who they are. Um, and that's kind of what this is about. So anyway, that's, uh, that's a couple things that I do um, for, you know, for what it's worth. Uh, I appreciate you watching. Uh, I made a video for my 70 subscribers. I've got 70 subscribers now, which is amazing to me that there are 70 people in the world that want to pay attention and watch me do whatever I do, um, but that's awesome. Thank you for subscribing. And I'm humbled and, and privileged to have your subscriptions. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.